Hey everybody, what's going on? Well, sorry it's been uh, a long time uh, since I got another video up. I had to work Saturday and the things that I normally do on Saturday around the house, get those things done so I can uh, start doing a video Saturday night and into Sunday, well, I had to put all of my chores off and all those wonderful honey-do list things until Sunday, which I am now officially done with it. I had no time to, uh, to get a video put together for y'all today, so I do apologize for that. But I got two things that, uh, that I want to share with y'all. First thing is this. I got this from uh, the chemical guys, chemical brothers guys. Ah, uh, the people that get all the car wash stuff through. It's called a gerbil. Yep. Oh, I don't know. Can you see that? Right there. And the reason why I went ahead and ordered this, I thought the other brushes that I got would... Uh, well, uh, light went out. Good times. Would be able to get my rim without a problem. But as you know, on the rims that I have... Uh, here on on my Maverick with the FX4 package, I, the brushes really didn't get down deep into them. So I'm kind of hoping this, I can get through the small openings and get it all clean. Uh, let's see, I really don't have too much light up here. Let me see if I can go ahead and, and show you what I mean by the rims. Okay, so I'm here in the garage, but can you look down there? Because the brushes would really get like just through here. Yeah, I know. I go to work on gravel, but it was very, but I can't get back there. So I'm going to use that gerbil to get back into there and be able to get everything clean on the backside. Those brushes did an excellent job up here for what they were meant for. It really, really did clean very well. All right, I had to turn some lights on. It went dark, and it's probably going to get dark on me here soon. So, pretty much, I'm just going to try a brush on the rims. You know, see if I can get all this stuff, how much I got to scrub on it and, and that to get it uh, pretty clean. Like I said, I work where it's gravel, and it is just difficult to keep the truck clean. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it that i got for y'all hope y'all y'all northerners are staying warm if not come on down come on down to florida be good times it'll be 83 tomorrow i think i think it will anyway so that's gonna do it for this um i appreciate your time uh oh oh forgot i want to share something with you we'll be putting in some uh plant raised beds thing or at least one i'm gonna try it a couple different ways see which one kind of works out the best but we're gonna get stuff to do that this coming up weekend this next weekend i don't have to work the weekend so i've got time to put uh hopefully put a good video for y'all uh together uh, we're picking up some galvanized uh what do you call them like a feed trough or like a water trough they're those big oval looking things you know yeah that kind of, kind of looks stupid anyway they're the big oval things that you get at like a like at a farm and fleet or a farm home store anyway since we got dogs and and everything else we're going to keep them out of it so i'm getting one that's two foot tall and we're going to put plants in it and we're gonna I'm going to try growing tomatoes. I've never grown anything in my life. But with the way how things are getting, how expensive they are, I would like some tomatoes. Potatoes. Ooh, I'd go for a good mess of potatoes. Um, what else could I grow? Green beans? Squash? I don't know. Anyway, like I said, everything down here is sand. So I'm going to put some dirt in there. And uh, I'm going to start composting and that, you know, try to make dirt. Apparently with leaves and grass, it takes like six to eight months and it turns into dirt, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know if that's the right way to say that. Hmm. 
I do not know. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start growing a garden. And I think the Maverick will be the perfect truck to go get everything I need to do it. No, seeds. They're so heavy. And, oh. And I also went onto the U-Hauls website. Just to see what kind of trailer I could, I could pull. I was looking for like a little car dolly. Um, I found a second vehicle. Haven't bought it or anything, but I was gonna go and tow it home. Just drive down, pick it up, tow it back, and get you guys a towing video. U-Haul will not allow a tow dolly or a car trailer to be pulled with this. Even though it was a small, well, I'll tell you what it is because I don't know if I'll be getting it now, but it was a, a little small little car, little uh, 90s Geo Metro. It was beautiful in four different colors <laughs> yeah, but anyway it would be a second work car so i could keep the keep the uh maverick in very good condition you know i'm putting a lot of miles on it driving it back and forth to work getting great fuel mileage but the more i'm in it the more i realize i want to save this truck for a longer time so i'm looking for a a, a beater with an air conditioner i know you know, all you guys up north, it's a beater with a heater. We don't really need heat down here. Man, we haven't used heat except for like maybe two days this year when we had our winter, when it came through, when it got to like 35 overnight for a night. Anyway, that's our winter. But I couldn't bring it back with the Maverick, which I wonder, you know, exactly you know with a four uh, i don't know if the u-hauls tow towing thing on the on the internet even takes into consideration a four thousand pound tow package since it's an option if they figure it all at a two thousand pound tow package i don't know i got a couple calls to make and 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 go from there but anyway i got a couple things uh coming up this weekend uh, this coming up weekend we're gonna start the garden um I don't know, and if I do find a vehicle, and if I can get U-Haul um, to agree, you know, I have to tell them what I'm doing it and what I got, and show them the vehicle, and that I'm, I'm guessing, you know, just pulling a small little thing like that, I'm well under, you know, four thousand pounds. And little Geos didn't weigh hardly anything, and a, and a tow dolly weighs hardly nothing. So I would still be under, under all the numbers I needed to be under. But anyway that's that just let me make sure here real quick because I know I kind of bounce anyway or so I like saying those words a lot any who you got any who by the way I'm trying to think nope that's pretty much all I got for the updates so I appreciate your time Thank you for being patient with me this weekend and uh and understanding this video why uh this video is out the way it is uh yeah like i said thank you i appreciate all of you and have a good uh, i would say the rest of your weekend but it's already late sunday night i didn't even make it to church today oh pastor josh Anyway, yep, yep there, there's that word again. Hopefully, y'all have a good week. And coming up this weekend, we're going to go and get the stuff to grow stuff. Fun times. Appreciate it. Y'all have a great rest of your day, night, and have a great week. God bless.